Forgive the background noise, but I had a moment of inspiration and I want to check something at the parking lot of a, my favorite, one of my favorite stores. So, we've got 49, 50, 50, 49. This one's a little harder to get. It's getting temperatures on the fuel injectors. 53. Crap. Oh no. They're really close to the same temperature. It's just the temperature keeps going up as the heat of the engine heat soaks everything else because I just turned it off. With the air flowing, it keeps those things cooler and they get hotter when the engine sets with it off. Double check intake greetings. 53. 48. 45. 51. I have a brand new theory for you guys. I don't think it's... Uh, Steve Robb, he had a good comment. He suggested that maybe my fuel pressure regulator was off. But with having just done a water decarb that you all saw, I shouldn't be having such a temperature change. Wait a second. That water decarb did do a good job. I got really even temperatures. Okay, we're trying to figure out a problem, wildly throw out ideas until you narrow in based upon re evidence. I was thinking maybe I had an intake valve that was leaking. I mean, what do you think about this, guys? When I smell my air intake, it smells really fuel rich. I'm smelling fuel out of it. So maybe my EVAP system is going nuts and sending crazy amounts of fuel into the system because I know I do have a problem there even though all my emissions have cleared you know uh, I think that sills last time I checked it it did like it's supposed to this one's supposed to seal the one next to the gas tank is supposed to uh, stay open until you activate it. it's pretty easy to blow on it and find out and uh, yeah, I was thinking I was having an intake valve leak, so when I did my engine rebuild, I would have to get that pulled apart and get that resealed, but I think we're good. So I'm just right back to that fuel pressure regulator because those temperatures are really consistent on the intakes. It's really consistent. Well, it's a little inconsistent on the fuel injectors, but I kind of like that. When every other one is running slightly hotter than the others, you get so much better gas mileage. It's insane. I mean, if you get a slightly bad set like that, I'd say go for it. It's a little better for power if they're perfectly even, but I'm more MPG nut than anything. How hot chocolate? Well, I enjoy myself a bowl of ice cream. Or if I haven't had any yet, we could trade. Just enjoying some ice cream and some YouTubes and some comments here on YouTube. It's been a blast. And I wanted to finish up my last video with a little bit of FaceTime. Only looking at the car isn't very good FaceTime, is it? Now that I've, I've we watched the video, tell me what you think about the analysis. Do you think I'm headed in a, a good direction for what's going on with the car? And understand some ad additional information. I have affected fuel injector temperature by changing spark plug gap. I don't know, it was an unfortunate circumstance of choosing broken fuel injectors that wouldn't inject at all and new really rebuilt injectors that were delivering fuel so unevenly that I was getting misfire codes. I had the choice of not driving the car at all. Not a very good choice. I didn't have another one running at the time. Or adjusting the spark plug gap. You see, the richer the condition. The richer the condition, the easier it is for the spark plug to deliver its spark. So which whatever injector that was giving too much fuel, if I was to widen the spark plug gap, it would change the spark line. You see, the temperature of the fuel injector is not just an indication of how fuel is flowing or how combustion is going. In fact, how combustion is going is a little bit clearer from intakes, as long as you don't have a leaky valve like I'm starting to suspect that I have. So the fuel injector temperature 
as far as I can tell from my experiments, is based upon two things. Number one, how much fuel is flowing. And number two, your spark plug gap. You see, the easier spark happens in a richer condition. So the more fuel you have going in, the sooner that spark plug is going to go off because it's actually easier for it to go off. So when I was having some of the injectors run richer because they were uneven, I actually had to increase the spark plug gap to delay when the spark line occurred. When I did that, it made it build up energy in the coil just before the spark plug a little bit longer and it actually delivered a hotter spark. That burned more of the fuel and that made for an even running engine instead of something misfiring and causing problems. I look forward to your comments and remember, get out there and work on something.